taking care of me from there, yeah. so I don't have to yell that much. All right. Um, okay, I am uh, Liam uh, from NCB Group of Companies. Uh, just to give you a brief uh, company background, NCB, we are in uh, education. Okay, and uh, the founder, uh, Mr. Raymond Jin, okay, uh, he's also the receiver of the Sinchu Education Award, and as a matter of fact, he's with us today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Raymond Chi. Okay. Raymond Chin has been in the uh, the company, uh, founded the company back in 1993. Uh, initially, it's in the ICT solution, the IT security, and uh, he's also uh, have a third party inspection in the oil and gas industry. Uh, basically, uh, a, a few range. Now he's into education. Uh, we are promoting, uh, giving scholarship to students who wanted to, the underprivileged student who wanted to study in China, and also into human resources, uh, matching, uh, hit hunting, and things like that. And this is you know, so that is him. Uh, to know more about him later on, probably during the lunch time, we can uh, have a bunch of one discussion. And about myself, um, I'm the project manager in NCB, uh, Group of Company. And these are some of the uh, about me. I am also a, a HRBF a trainer, a member of Malaysia Mansa, um, public speaking group. Of, and, and previously, I have been in the corporate world for more than 15 years. 11 years is in a medical center as a general manager. And uh, I have a university degree from the Prince Edward Island, Canada. Actually, almost went into McGill University. Uh, that is me. Uh, but I also have a secret identity. My secret identity is I'm a magician. <laughs> I started learning magic, magic okay, when I was in Standard 4, impressed by my uh, classmate. So I decided that, hey, it's really cool to to be a, the magicians, okay, and um, I performed in school teachers days and things like that. And then, a few years back, I bumped into a math teacher. Okay, I gotta, I gotta introduce her. Her name is uh, Madame Theo for you. I, I met her back in 2005. Okay, we exchanged ideas, and she has these great ideas of teaching math by using incorporating magic because school children love games. That's why we have a lot of. I mean, today's presentation, a lot of, a lot of the speakers are addressing the mathematics issue by giving. I mean, uh, helping kids to learn via games. Why not help kids learn via magic as well? Let me do a quick demonstration. Play some magic. I need six items from the audience. Any six items? May, may I borrow some items? All right, I got a watch here. And a, a pen, okay. candy. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Bottle. Okay. One, one, two, three, four. Two more items. Ah, the bag. Five taxis. Six. I need the last one. Oh, the glass. <coughs> oh, the okay. okay. This. I don't take this. <laughs> okay. So, so let's count correctly. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six items here. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to draw something on a piece of whiteboard there, okay, to predict, okay, what you will choose. All right. Uh, if I got it correctly, I just need a round of applause. Huh? That would, that would. Uh, uh, not there, not there. I'm not starting there. The name will give you. Okay, let me see. I, I don't know. number from 1 to 6. Don't tell me. Mentally, pick any number from 1 to 6. Got it? Yes. Okay. okay um, how about you? 3. 3. Okay, pick number 3. So it's 1, 2, 3. You pick the watch. Now, let's see what prediction did I make. Wow. 
So yes. first time you're seeing that, first time you're seeing that? Yes. Okay, so this is a little magic. Now, I, I'm sure you have some question. What if I pick one? How many of you pick number one? All right, you pick number one. This is how I'm going to do. How do you spell one? O, o and B. How many of you pick number two? Anyone pick number two in your mind? If you pick number two, it's going to be T W O. How about if you pick number six? S I S. So these are magic. Now, did I cover number four? Anyone pick number four? F O U. You got it. How about five? F I V. Number three is the easiest. One, two, three. Now let's say number four. Is there any other way to derive or arrive at the watch? F O U R. Is there another way? Remember, actually anything can have more than one answer, even in mathematics. Now this is one way of deriving and selecting the watch. F O U R or one, two, three, four. This is how. This is how we do it, okay? And this is just one small part of the magic trick. Want to see more tricks? Later on, later on, later on. <laughs> later on. <laughs> one more trick. One more trick, yeah. sure now. Yeah. Um, later on, huh? So, in the NCB education, this is what we do. Um, the philosophy is basically bridging uh, the top-notch talents to the ever changing, evolving world. We know the Industrial Revolution 4 is, um, is right now at the horizon. Okay, The first Industrial Re Revolution is when human discover steam power, steam energy. The second is when we discover electricity. The third is when we discover computer power. The fourth is internet. And the, the fourth Industrial Revolution is right now, all kids are holding it in the hand. The hand for them. Okay, What is required to help the kids, help our children, the next generation to be competitive. You have to learn some new skill which we have never learned before, like coding. You can write your own games and then you can sell it over the internet and people are coming to buy from you. Okay? You can learn how to do 3D printing. 3D printing is no longer something that's very high tech. It, it can be implemented in school. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, we are talking with uh, 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 UM, okay, to come up with syllabus to teach children how to do that already. Uh, this is what we are doing right now. Uh, as you can see, that we believe that learning is lifelong, and then we are here to bridge the student, okay, inspire top-notch student and also parents to learn persistently, okay, with children to learn together. Learning is no longer a job for for the teacher, it's also for the parent. That's why we teach. We teach both of them. Now, these are some of the services that we have. Okay, and uh, the effective learning is what we are concentrating today, which is the magic mathematics. Now, magic mathematics. <coughs> I just mentioned before. Uh, before, okay, uh, the founder is uh, Madam Thieu. Okay. She's unable to come today because back in year 2009, she has Parkinson's disease. It's very difficult even for her to sit down and to get up. She will have to move her body weight in order to stand up. And back in year 2010, she suffered from breast cancer. So in short, I think her time is numbered and she's desperately wanted and passionately wanted to have her system Okay, to, to be able to pass it on to teachers, to people who are passionate about math, uh, mathematics as well as magic. That's why we play a role in helping her to spread her knowledge and also passion. So what we, what, what's in her mind is math, magic, puzzle and game. And 
this, ladies and gentlemen, is Madeline Teo. Okay, she's an avid speaker. She has been in the uh, the TED Talk for Darling Street, okay, and she has been giving training uh, to to many students in different countries. And she has even able to help borderline students. In, in, in medical terms, borderline patients are those like, oh, let's say the, the, the cholesterol level is not high enough okay, uh, to fail, but almost there. So she, she is able to help borderline SPM students okay, uh, who fail all subjects to pass all subjects using her fun way of learning or engaging uh, way of learning. Uh, this is some of the, these are the philosophies that she has. Um, at the current moment in our education, we concentrate on giving knowledge to the student. Okay, let them understand and apply. Having acquired the knowledge, understand the knowledge and apply. This is what our education is all about. However, there's a higher level. We are going to be analytical synthesis and evolution. We call that the higher order thinking and this is what we are doing. <coughs> Want to have some HOT, high order thinking? Now just now, Zap Zap Maps has mentioned that fraction is something that is one of the most challenging uh, subject in math. Let's face the fraction. Here's the high order thinking, yeah? Okay, how can you divide seven cakes among ten students equally? where each student get two pieces of cake. Now, let's think. i give you a minute. Seven cakes, ten students, each student get two pieces, equally, equal size. <coughs> ah, yeah. Everybody hates maths. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> okay. Now let's take a look at another. Uh, now we have seven cakes, okay, uh, to be divided among twelve students and equally. How about that? Okay, use, if you are using the logic just now, uh, how many of you came up with this answer? How many? Can I have a show of hands? How many of you? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, quite a lot. Now, the next question is, is this the only answer? All right, you have a different answer? <laughs> okay, okay. Is there another way of dividing them equally? Here we go. We have a different answer. You see, normally in, in, in math, okay, a teacher will come up with a question, student is go, they are going to try to answer it. Once they have completed and got the answer, they just sit back and relax. So teacher will go around and check. However, in mathematics, in real world, there are more than one answer. It's just like the magic trick that I have I've just shown, there are more than one way in getting the watch. This is the higher learning, and this is what magic math is all about. And this way, okay, has inspired this uh, professor, okay, that after after Madam Teo spoken to him, okay, he came to see Madam Teo, and this professor said, okay, he's going to apply the techniques to come up with questions that have only one answer, two answers. Three answers, or even questions with no answers. Now with that, these are the series of both stacks, and also the card tricks, okay? Uh, the little card stack uh, is, is designed by Madame Teo. Now because in school, she started off using the real playing cards, the 52 playing cards uh, at school, but the students, I mean the teachers and parents and the school that doesn't like it. So she just redesigned it and turned it into memory cards for people to, to play. And right now school cannot ban them because these are not playing cards. It's not for gambling. Uh, just now remember I say, let's play another trick. 
Okay, who wants to pick a card? Now, as you can see, these are all random, are they? Different numbers and things like that. Have you played a card before? No. Have you met them before? You don't <laughs> like cards? Uh, you see, this is, this is exactly designed for those who does not like uh, cards. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, now, I want you to pick a card, but uh, you don't tell me, okay? Okay. Let's show you. Okay, they're all random. Okay. Uh, pick, pick anyone. You sure this? You want this one? Yes. You want to change? No. You don't want to change. Okay. Just put it, memorize it and oh, don't I tell can look at it? Yeah, yeah, you can look at it. Can you don't, show don't tell me. Can you show us? Okay. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Is it a number line? Yes. Mm -hmm. See? And look at the look look at the, the top right corner. Do you see um the shape there? Yes. Okay, let me see if I know the shape. I, I, I may not know, but uh, I, I may. You see the triangle? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and look at the, the, the color, the color of the triangle shape. Mm. I think this color of the shape, it probably has something to do with you. The shirt, is it blue? Ladies and gentlemen, number <laughs> nine, triangle and blue. So, want to find out more? We have a price here. Okay, the books. Okay, this one is retail at sixty ringgit. But according to Madam, this one doesn't have a lot left. But there's a smaller version of it. It's only forty ringgit. And the card has a smaller one, smaller version, even for kindergarten children. For primary student, okay, it's only for 15 ringgit retail. And this are some of the the, the pictures of Madam <coughs> that has been in the TED Talk and uh, in US, in Denmark, Singapore, all over the world, and uh, in India. And it essentially, we care about how children learn. And essentially, we care about how teachers teach. Yes. 5G is in the horizon, IR4 is in the horizon. We can reach up to the mass market via technology. We can teach and students can learn anytime and anywhere they want in the school. But human interaction and a little bit of creativity and a little bit of fun is still necessary. If you keep on pouring knowledge to the student, but just like the little illustration over here, the, the cork is on the top of the bottle. What's in it for me? When we learn mathematics, we keep on practicing and practicing and practicing and drilling and drilling and drilling. I've had enough. After my calculus 102, I say stop, no more math for me. For me because I have no idea why am I learning math for as a business student. So this is like me. Now the better way, effective teaching and learning, it's like that. Just remove the cock from the bottle and start receiving. But is there a better way of learning? Because as you can see, knowledge that bestowed upon you, you receive some. Okay, but the student may not receive all. But making it fun, the effective way to make it fun, make it relevant, you can think. This is our ultimate objective. Okay. To have enthusiasm, visual aid, humor, voice, questions, puzzle, story, and magic.